Well, hello everyone. It's Angela with Mystic Moon bringing you guys another reading. So today's topic is called Hot and Bothered. This is going to be your person's late night thoughts and fantasies about you. So obviously the person that you have in mind, tap into their energy right now because we are going to explore the depths of their late night thoughts and fantasies about you. So anyways, you guys, I do tend to channel for those that are experiencing either a separation or challenge in your connection. So please keep that in mind, but only take what resonates for you at the end of the day and get rid of anything that doesn't. All the decks as well as these beautiful organites will be listed in the description box down below. So because of the um, spicy, hot and erotic nature of this reading, we will have to shift over to the extended sooner than later. So uh, definitely if you guys would like to continue on with the more erotic type of messages, we'll be doing so in the extended reading. So anyways, you guys, I am, um, you know, recording from my iPhone today. So it's a little bit of a different setup. So I'm sorry if things are not, you know, perfectly aligned. I'm still kind of maneuvering this camera situation. So let's get into it. I'm going to take a look at the seductive energies. So that is what lasting impression have you made on your person? Okay. So what lasting impression have you made on your person? Let's take a look at that energy. What lasting impression have you made on your person? Ooh, we have casualty. All of my excuses were just lies. So the uh, lasting impression that you've made on your person is that you are a casualty of this person's lies. So if they lied to you, if they hurt you in some way, it's like you were a casualty in their war within themselves. Let's see what else. Ooh, we have lo a dwelling longing for a home that I used to know. So <laughs> I just got that song from somebody that I used to know. I don't know who sings that, but you guys all know that song. But yes, um, longing. So you definitely have left this um, impression in this like person like they're longing for you. You felt like home to them. They felt really comfortable with you. So it's kind of sad that whatever happened here that they let you go. So that could be telling us something specific. Ooh, we have aware cat. You are the silver lining in my life. So you're some sort of silver lining for them. I feel like there's a couple of songs out there that talk about a silver lining. So you're the silver lining for your person. All right, let's see what else. What else, what other lasting impression did you leave on this person? Let's take a look. What other lasting impression did you leave on this person? Ooh, I'm healing because of you. So it seems to me, you guys, that the lasting impression that you made on your person has a lot to do with um, their emotions. They're really connected to how they, like you emotionally affected them. And it may also be how they emotionally affected you. So I just feel like this is kind of like a deep, somewhat heavy energy, especially if you had a falling out with this person. I'm resisting the surrender. So your person has been resisting surrendering something, surrendering to you, surrendering to this connection. I feel like surrendering to their feelings. Yeah. So this person is holding back a lot, I'm feeling here. Your love transforms me. So do you see how there's a lot of messages about healing, transformation? Um, you know, I, I know that I hurt you. It's, it's very emotional, actually. So let's see what else. Oh, I'm hiding my true feelings. So your person, I feel, has been hiding from this for maybe a while. And maybe this is one of the reasons that they fantasize and they, they kind of take to fantasizing and thinking about this late at night because it's something that they're not able to or feel like they can in the actual physical 3D world. So it's kind of like you're swimming around in their memory, you're swimming around in their mind, but they're not actually able to really participate with you in this 3D way. So, you know, they have some sort of hang up when it comes to facing you, maybe because they hurt you. You're a casualty in this, in this war that they had going on within themselves. So the lasting impression that you've made on this person is that maybe they really hurt you and that they have a lot of feelings. They have a lot of emotion tied up in this, but it's hard for them to admit it to themselves and to you the ace of wands so the lasting impression that you made with your person is that um you were very attractive the fire the chemistry especially in the beginning of your connection maybe the first time they saw you the first time you guys kissed etc this could have really had a profound lasting impression on your person like it was so magical it was so intense they've never felt anything like it before things like that but definitely a fiery energy we have the moon of pentacles the lasting impression that you made on this person could be that um you were very um you you were not afraid to just walk away like you would rather 
you would rather like not put up with their BS or whatever they were dishing out than stay with them. So that kind of sticks out in their mind that you weren't going to lower your standards just to be with them. You weren't going to put up with their BS. Okay. You would rather just be alone than not even deal with this. Yeah. Eight of wands means, you know, kind of flying. You might not have been afraid to speak your mind to this person. You could have been like a kind of a firecracker like a firecracker, somebody who is just really like, um, you know, not afraid to say what they're thinking or afraid to tell them how they feel. They obviously have a more difficult time telling you how they feel, but I don't feel like that's you. You speak your mind, you speak your truth. And it may be that you gave this person an earful or something. So like they were left with that last form of communication because that's what the eight of wands is. It's communication. So the last thing that you communicated to them could still be with them today. You guys, that's how I'm seeing that. All right, let's see what else. Mm, we do have the King of Cups. So this is somebody who's in their feelings. Uh, you emotionally affected this person. That's for sure. They may have felt something very deep with you, but maybe they were afraid to admit it. Maybe they were hiding it. They felt something very deep, but again, they were afraid to really dive deep into that or explore that because maybe it was just uncharted territory is what I'm seeing. Okay. So let's see how else you affected this person. What other lasting impression did you leave them with? Let's take a look at that. So we'll do the same cards again. What other lasting impression did you leave on this person? Like the last thoughts you left them with. Ooh, hoo, hoo. not surprised to see that, you guys. We have that hypnotized energy. Yeah, there's something about that ace of wands, that kiss. I still dream of those lips I once kissed. So... Something about your kiss, something about your energy, your specifics, you know, kind of style of seduction has stayed with this person and it is still with them today. So you're not easily replaced. I don't feel like your person has experienced that kind of chemistry with another individual on this planet. So that's something significant and special tied to you. All right, let's see what else. Ooh, we have ember. Definitely very fiery energy here. You are the fire in my soul. It's like I feel this fire in my loins, the fire in my bones, my soul. I feel it all over. It's just burning all over me. So yes, your person still has the flame lit for you. This is why they fantasize about you. This is why they think about you late at night. But I feel like there's something tied to this whole connection where there was some pain. There was some sort of tragedy. There was some sort of an ending um, and something that your person is running from and hiding from now. So that's why they're, they're just taking to fantasizing about this instead of actually participating with you in the 3D world. Ooh, be loved. You make my heart a better place. That's beautiful. So yeah, they feel you not only in their soul, like in that fiery, passionate energy, but they also feel you in your heart or in their heart space. That's why I feel like we got the King of Cups coming up here. They do feel you deep down um, inside. And for some of them, they may have tried to run away from this, but you know, you can run, but you can't hide. It's still there. We have damned. Look at that trapped inside my heavy soul. Ooh, yeah. So your person does feel trapped. This, this makes sense to me. This particular card, which is talking about I'm resisting. This one's saying, or is it, I'm hiding my true feelings. So there is something here that you transform your person. Maybe you've transformed them. Maybe you have helped them to see something about themselves. Maybe this connection speaks to them in such a way to where it helps them to tap into their emotion, tap into what needs to be healed. You leave this lasting impression on this person of this work that they do need to do to take a good look at themselves. Maybe you left them and maybe by leaving them behind, it's like, you know, they, they still are, they're very affected by you. That's how I'm saying that. All right, what else? I will never let go. Wow. So this right here is saying your person is still holding on to you. They haven't let you go. How could they let somebody go that they're so hypnotized by? They can't. It's very difficult for them. We have, I'm cleansing myself from old habits. See, you have some sort of an effect on this person where they want to be a better version of themselves. They want to be better. They want to be better just for themselves, but they may also want to be better for you because maybe they did not treat you kindly. Maybe they did not treat you the best when you were dealing with them. So there's another storyline popping up here. We have, I'm compelling you to give in to me. 
Well, what's interesting is that I feel like they're battling giving into this connection. So the fact, okay, what I just got is that your person in a way wishes that it was easier, meaning that they would, they would want you to give into them first before they give into you in this connection. Like, I want you to make contact with me first. I want you to be the person that comes back because that would be easier for this person. But I feel like that's just wishful thinking because if they hurt you, it may be that it's their job. The ball is in their court to come back and make these wrongs right. We have, you've touched my soul in every way, shape, and form. So yeah, you've definitely touched this person's heart. You've touched their soul. You've touched them very deeply. They're forever changed by you in this connection. So you have definitely left a very profound um, impression on this person. We have the high priestess. There's something very mystifying about you. There's something very mysterious. They can't quite put their finger on why they still feel so connected to you and why they think about you so much. They can't figure it out. There might also be a lot of telepathic communication between the two of you. The five of wands means um, an indication here of maybe the lasting impression that, that, um, you, you made on them is that you were, you were not afraid to stand up and say and speak your truth and, and to give them a piece of your mind. It may also be that you're like, look, I'm not going to fight for something that I don't feel is either worth fighting for because you're not putting in the same effort. Um, I'm not going to compete for your attention. I'm not do, I'm not dealing with that shit. So your person, I feel the profound, um, the profound impression that you've made on them is that you're not going to, you're not going to lower your standards just to be with them. It may also be that you're a great catch as in there's many other suitors, people that would want you, that would value you. So you have other options. So this person knows that like, you're not going to just stay single forever or just be waiting in the wings for them. We had the fool. <laughs> I just feel like it's, I'd be a fool to think that you, you wouldn't move on. Um, I'd be a fool to think that somebody else wouldn't uh, land you or, or catch you because you're a great catch. You know, I'm, I'm not a fool. So your person, it's like they were a fool to let you go. They were a fool to create a situation if there is one right now to where you're not available and you're with someone else. All right. But it might just be that whatever problems that they created here, they just feel very foolish. We do have the Princess of Cups, which is the Page of Cups. This is somebody who's definitely um, still has you in their heart. They have something to say. They have um, maybe an apology or a message, a heartfelt message to give to you. But I feel like they feel very foolish now because of the issues that they've created with you with that Five of Wands. And so they feel like it's difficult to return or to admit how they really feel. Very interesting. Okay, so that's what we have so far, you guys. Let's go ahead and go to the next question, which is Stranglehold. What specific thoughts and fantasies about you have a hold on them now. So we're just going to, you know, kind of mildly take a look at the situation. We're going to, you know, just kind of do our best without trying to get demonetized here. Okay. All right. What specific thoughts and fantasies about you have a hold on this person right now? Oh, seduction. You are a masterpiece. So um, it's funny because to me, this is the first thing that we took a look at, seductive energy, the lasting impression you've made on this person. You're a masterpiece. What I'm getting here is it's like they were torn. They were tattered. Not you. They may have projected that onto you. So I feel like the specific thoughts and fantasies that you have on them is like they, they are really able to sit back and really, really uh, take you in without criticizing you, without trying to run away from this. Like when they're in their own, their own like space, their own time, their, their own energy, they can really connect with you in this way and just look at you and just be so, um, in awe of you just to like think of every aspect of you and just feel like you are a masterpiece. That's a really beautiful card. They just think about how seductive you were and how there was something about you that was just so one of a kind and unique. Okay. We also have aphrodisiac. I want to taste you. So uh, this person may have a uh, specific taste, something that they love to do with you, if you know what I mean. But there's something about you where the thought of tasting you, the thought of being with you, the thought of you being on them like that may uh, really do it for this person. All right, what else? What other specific thoughts and fantasies about you have a hold on them now? Ooh, we have provider. I want to be your everything. 
So that's like, I want to come in and I want to claim you. I want to be able to do all of these things for you. I want to take care of you. I want to make you feel comfortable. I want to make you feel whole. I want to make you feel secure. So it's not just about the, you know, physical. They may want to actually come into your life and like provide something for you. But may I just want to, I want to be your only lover kind of thing too. So being the only one, being the one you choose, something like that. We have teas. Ooh, make it last all night. So this person also has fantasies about you not completely giving into them, you playing hard to get. You, it's like your greatest seduction may be how long you draw it out or how you play your cards because you don't reveal everything that you're feeling or thinking. So it leads this person to maybe chase you or to think hard about, you know, are you into them? Are you not into them? So this kind of turns them on this little chase here. So I feel like that excites your person when they think about it. All right, let's see what else, what other specific thoughts and fantasies about you have a hold on them. Oh, we have aimed right at you. Love is in the air. So this is like a Cupid energy to me, wanting to wanting to tell you how they're feeling, wanting, you know, what the airwaves, this is like a message. I want to tell you what's in my heart space. I want to I'm in the, uh, you know, it's like the Valentine's Day puts people in the mood for love and romance. It's like this person wants to tell you something that's in their heart space. So they think a lot about what they want to say to you, what they want to give to you, how they would kind of approach you. They think a lot about that. We have, oh, a real man. I will look you in the eye and tell you how I feel. I have no problem expressing my emotions. This is somebody who wants to provide something for you that they didn't provide for you before. So maybe they didn't act like a, you know, I'm just using this label, act like a real man. Maybe they acted like a little boy, a little child, somebody who was scared, somebody who was acting like, like a fool, a clown, somebody that was acting immature, you know? not able to look you in the eye and basically tell you what they were feeling and thinking or deal with this in a mature way. So I feel like they're kind of thinking, if I could go back, I would do it differently. If I had another chance, I would do it this way. So that's what they're fantasizing about, is doing it differently. Acting with more integrity, being more stable for you. We have secret love. Yeah, but see, you would never know this because your person is really good at hiding how they feel. And we already got that from the beginning messages. Like they're hiding how they feel. They're not comfortable for whatever reason revealing this to you. It also may be you guys that they can't reveal this to you because there could be a third party as in on their end, your end or both. Just take it how it resonates. But yeah, they, they hold this back. It's a secret. We have get over here. I just want to rip your clothes off and devour you completely. Oh yeah. So, I mean, they think about connecting with you and what that like, um, that buildup would be just kind of like, you know, ripping each other, throwing up against, throwing you up against the wall kind of thing, like not being able to like handle the, um, tension anymore. So they think a lot about seeing you, spending time with you, letting it build, build, build. And then bam, it's just like, whoa, it's so intense. It's like fireworks basically. And I already got that you guys do have like this fireworky, <laughs> that's not even a word, but a fireworky type of, um, connection and chemistry anyways. So it's like, they think a lot about that. They tap back into the past. It's like you're a portal to this person's past of thinking about that and um, that the way that they felt so magical, so so high basically. And, and so they, they tap into this portal, I guess, with you because they want to recreate this. They want to feel this way again. All right, what else are they thinking about and fantasizing about? Oh, yeah, definitely transitioning it because you guys, I feel, have ended at some point. I'm glad that I specified that for some of you guys is that I do tend to channel for those that are experiencing separation or challenge. Something has ended here in your connection and they want to transition it. They want to bring it back to life. They want to do it differently this time. They want a second chance or whatever chance this is. They want another chance to make it right, do it different. Uh, we have the star. So the star is like, I feel like I'm better now. I feel like I've healed. I feel like I have done something um, that is going to, like I've worked on myself or I've healed or I'm seeing things differently. I'm much more mature now. I'm much wiser now. So it's like I can bring something to the table. I feel like your person couldn't bring much to the table before because maybe they were just stuck or hung up on something, but it seems like they've gone through some sort of a transition and have shifted and their energy is more elevated. And so they have something of uh, more value to bring to your life and to the table. So they want to line up with you again. They want a more of a, 
um, an ascended love, more of an ascended commitment than you guys had before. So it's not that this person just wants to be with you in a physical way. I feel like they actually want to be in a relationship with you. That's what I'm seeing here. And on the bottom of the deck, look, I got three of swords, heartache. So you guys experience some sort of a tragic ending or heartbreak or disappointment, and they want a chance to just shift that up and do it differently this time show you a different version. See, yep, the four, five of cups is past pain. So something happened in the past, you guys. Something happened in the past that, and, and they disappointed you and they disappointed themselves. They were disappointed with the outcome and they want a chance to realign with you and change the outcome. That's what your person wants. They don't like the ending. They don't like how you ended things. They don't like how it ended. They don't like the way that the uh, chapter concluded. They want to start a new chapter here. So they think a lot about that too. Yep. They want tranquility. They want healing. They want to move to a, uh, sh like they want to shift into a more tranquil state with you. They want to move past this pain. They want to move your connection um, into the world of the living again, because I feel like right now it might be stagnant or it's not really happening in the 3D. So they want an opportunity to bring this back to life. They also see you as a bright shining star. They see you as somebody who is very, you stand out above all the rest. So there's something very significant. And also their spirit team, their higher self, the universe may be giving them signs that they need to come back to this, that they want to come back to this, that this is something significant. This is something special. This is something that they've been looking for and searching for their entire life. So it may be that they're finally lining up with that truth. They're ready to see something. So that's what I have for you guys so far. So now we're going to shift over into the extended and I'll tell you what we're going to go into over there. We've got erect, which is what about you turns them on the most foreplay. How do they want to be touched by you? Kinks, what erotic activities do they want to explore with you and explosion? What thoughts are pushing them to the brink of a contacting you and turning this into a reality? So if you guys like to join me over there, I will put the link in the description box down below to the extended reading as well as pin it to the top comment section. And thank you guys so much for watching this reading. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a little bit of love. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.